Welcome. In this video, we would like to talk about uh, sessions in nice GUI. So sessions.py. So in order to use sessions, we have to import a few <laughs> other components, like from the collections, import the counter, and from date time, import date time from nice GUI import the UI and from starlet that middleware that sessions import the session middleware and from starlet requests import the request. So first on our app, we have to call the add middleware function, and we add the session middleware, and the secret key is going to be uh, random gibberish. And we will have our counter from the counter collections and the start is going to be from the date time now and we use a string from time and we say that we want the hours and the minutes and the day and the b and the y and we will have a page and this page is going to be the session demo and the session demo is going to do the following it will take a request which is of request type and if the ID is not in request that sessions then the request that session id is going to be a random uuid from the uuid 4 and the counter request that session id plus equals one all right and the ui that label is going to be the following so we need some information that we want to represent and basically we want to want to show how many unique views we had and since when we have those all right and we are going to have a link which will take us to the visit session demo and we pass the session demo function and then run our application so if hmm pip install mm -hmm. it says that the app is not defined because we forgot to import it <coughs> all right so let's visit session demo and it says that the counter is not defined maybe i made a typo so let's see so we have the counter ah counter not counter so if we go back and visit the session 
we have one unique views, three overall, and maybe we can start a private session and we have two unique views and five overall. So this is how we can use sessions in nice GUI. And the next thing that I would like to show you is how we can run JavaScript. So let's stop this and jsdemo.py. And here we want to import from the nice GUI the UI and we have the async def alert and await ui dot run javascript alert and we would like to alert with the hello message and the respond is false so we will have a UI button and fire and forget. And then on click, we want to call the alert function and then run our application. And let's go ahead and run the JS demo. So here we have the fire and forget. And as you can see, the JavaScript run successfully. Now I would like to show you how we can serve static files. So let's do that. Uh, 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 let's use this static king.py. And basically, from nice GUI, we have to import the UI and we have to import the app. And the app that add static files should have the examples as examples and UI.label some redirect p and we have the dot classes text h5 and we will have the ui dot link oh hold on this is the static demo and here we would like to have the redirect dot py and we say that it is served from here. Hmm. Let's remove these examples. And basically the redirect that P. And let's go ahead and run. So let's run the Python staticking.py path can lead to the internet alright then let's create a new folder examples and I would like to have these to copy it here and go back examples and call this avatar py and add another one which is going to be buttons py and let's try it so here we have the static demo and it says that it was not found, but why? Oh, I forgot to add this prefix. So now if 
if I go back, you can see that the file, or at least the content of the file, was served. And uh, one last thing that I would like to show you is how you can use the Pi installer. Oh, yeah. So basically, let's say we want to use the mermaid.py to be packaged. And we have to import the OS module, the subprocess module, and the nice GUI module. And from pathlib, import the path. So we would like to build a list which contains the commands which will be concatenated that are in turn is going to be executed. So dash m and py installer and main dot py or rather mermaid and dash dash name mermaid and we would like to have the one file and we would like to have the windowed option and one last which is going to be this line and yeah so basically this is how you would do it and you just have to call the sub process cmd and the output is going to be an executable file and that was all I wanted to show you. See you in the next one.